September in the woods with friends and family. The best days of a person's life. the opportunity in my mid-20s to, to purchase a bow. And man, I have been hooked since that moment. Here comes that other one. That's a good bull. That's a real good bull. You know, it was it was a pretty open spot, and so we didn't actually have an opportunity to kind of sneak in on the elk. And this just gorgeous bull, with um, he had unique thirds on his on his on his rack. Awesome to see. Strapping the boots on, putting tracks in places that you would never go otherwise. You learn so much about the game, get so close to them. He's right there on the side hill. Right in the trees, right there. Quiet times in the wood, life can be so loud <laughs> and so busy. Good solid bull. I'm trying to get a good look at the rest of it. The bottom one's a good bull, too. The bottom one's bigger, I think, isn't it? Yeah, I can tell with my binoculars it's bigger. days you're fine sitting on a ridge just watching them move and I don't always find my success with an animal on the ground. I find my success get out in the woods in September listening to elk bugle. So if they come this side from their beds we'll have them covered here. I've stood in the bottom of this before on yeah. deer. You can't see over it. If you got, if you go along this and dive in, and just hit that and then go right down it. Yeah. We were pretty sure we were gonna have a great evening. And I, and I gotta say we did. We saw just a 
really large bull uh, walk out of the timber. So I snuck in within about 75 yards. Boom, the entire herd of 40 to 60 cows shows up. Just lucky. Each time it's luck. I mean, my God, how much closer could you have got there? We were so close. Elk hunting, archery, it's, uh, yeah, it's got my heart and I'll be doing it until I can't walk anymore. September in the woods with friends and family. The best days of a person's life. 